lot of people just want to get by. They just want to live. They just want to, you know, exist. But you got to get the most out of life. You really have to strive. Can't be satisfied with just being average. The word average is just not part of Rohan Murphy's vocabulary. The 120 pound, 38 year old benches 350 pounds. That's three times his body weight. His passion for fitness, unwavering. It's a habit that I can't break. Despite assumptions, based on his appearance. You know, not having legs, is a, it's a pretty big deal, I'm not gonna lie. But I never viewed it like that. I've always just used that motivation and try to really excel in life. I just always want to prove people wrong. And that motivation pinned the three and a half foot tall athlete to his purpose. He always yearned to be part of an athletic team. We don't have legs, you can't play too many sports, like a travel soccer, a little league baseball. It wasn't until the eighth grade that Rohan's physical education teacher led him to the mat. Wrestling filled that void for him. I'm a true believer in the four P's of life. The four P's of life, purpose, passion, pride, perspective. Rohan fell in love with the sport. Became my passion, became my purpose. He put extra time into learning how to do what people with legs can do, only better. He learned to adapt and it paid off. It just goes to show you that if you really put that, put in that extra time, put in a little extra love and passion for something, you're gonna get great results. He learned to live life despite obstacles on and off the mat. Whether it's driving a car, going grocery shopping. Rohan adapted to do stuff that most people probably take for granted with legs. This tenacious mindset led him to a spot on the varsity wrestling team. I'll never forget that first match. I lost the match two to one. A loss that provided extra motivation and ultimately led to success. It was a win in life. It proved to people that despite not having legs that I could really go out there, I can compete against kids with legs and I could do just fine. Finally, for the first time in my life, I had some pride in myself. I was proud of who I was. And he took that drive from the mat to the stage. After his wrestling career at Penn State University, Rohan pursued a career in motivational speaking, finding strength in the gym and in his words. After the kids hear my story at schools, they kind of say to themselves, you know, my life isn't that difficult. Maybe I should stop complaining. Rohan travels to schools all over the U.S. sharing the highs and lows of his story. In this crowd, eighth grader Brandon Garcia. I make excuses sometimes, but after this, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop making excuses and just work as hard as I can to become a better football player. Rohan provides perspective. That's the most important thing that, that I give kids, a different outlook on life. Seventh grade Jarve Wilson was ready for a new perspective. You should never take anything for like granted that because other people have some stuff going on that you don't know about in life. Don't take for granted the chance to work hard, even with excuses within reach. No excuses to me means going after your goals, trying to reach your dreams and not letting anything stop you, not letting anything hold you back in life. He inspires others to do the same along the way. In life, just because you're dealt a bad hand like I was but not having legs, you don't have to fold, you don't have to give up. And you don't just have to get by. Strive for success. Work to get your pin just like Roman. On Long Island, Emily Palazzato, WUFT News.